Yo, yo, welcome to Italy. Yeah, the, the setup is a little bit scuffed this time. I miss the daylight. Um, I woke up late. All the bad stuff, guys, all the bad stuff. And my notes are on the phone. All the bad stuff, guys, all the bad stuff. Anyway, welcome to Monday Night Raw on Tuesday. Right? There is a lot of echo in the room. The Airbnb is huge and there is a lot of echo anywhere. So, yeah. The night started with Cody Rhodes versus Damien Priest at Crown... Note to myself, don't read the notes directly. I, I watched this shit like six hours ago. I totally forgot that I just wrote down what was the final result. Anyway, the show was opened by the Judgment Day and they were bragging with the fact that they won the tag team titles again. Cody Rhodes came out and he was like, uh, where's your mommy? Where's your leader? And Damien Priest was like, we don't have a leader, but your story, Cody, seems like a story of a loser. And let's have a fight at Crown Jewel and yada, yada, yada. And uh, basically after that, Cody Rhodes and Damien Priest made a preview for their match at Crown Jewel and uh, Damien broke uh, Cody's leg. And I'm not sure if Cody is going to be at 100% or if this is going to be the part of the story. But yeah, this is what happened. Down. I know. <laughs> I keep forgetting that we're not doing this here. Yeah. After that, we had a quick one. Uh, was it quick? Was it? Was it? The New Day versus the Alpha Academy. The match was set last week when Alpha Academy was basically training in the backstage and the New Day came out and basically uh, the match happened back then. And uh, yeah, it was a good match. Uh, of course, the New Day won. Did the New Day won? Honestly, as I said, I watched this shit a long time ago. And I think the New Day won. So, yep, the New Day won. The highlight of the match was Xavier Woods making a reverse worm, a reverse caterpillar. This was huge. I almost put it as the top moment for this week on Raw. I feel like you cannot feel my energy right now, but my energy is at the peak level. No, I'm just kidding. My energy is somewhat of a low level, but I swear it's not that bad. It's not like how it seems to be. It's just really late and uh, I forgot the half of the show. So yeah. After that, we had a match for the NXT championship and we keep defending this championship on Raw. Which is awesome, which is awesome, because it gives this championship a credibility. A credibi credibility. I totally know how to speak this language. Becky Lynch versus Indy Hartwell, and of course Becky Lynch retained, because otherwise it would have been kind of lame Indy to face Lyra v Valkyrie, Tyra Val... I don't remember her name tomorrow at Halloween Havoc. Like, the story was there, the Irish girl facing each other, the story is there, we should keep it. So yeah, Becky Lynch retained. After that, the saga between DIY and Imperium continued when Johnny Gargano faced Giovanni Vinci and basically won. Do you know how he won? Because the Master Champa came back and he crushed Ludwig Kaiser into the post. And uh, basically after that, uh, Giovanni was distracted and Gargano picked the victory. And that is setting up basically the IY versus Imperium, as I said. I don't know where that leads to, but I think it, this is kind of a rematch from the NXT days. I'm not sure if the IY was having a match versus Imperium in NXT, but I think they had. So yeah, I think it would be interesting to be fair to see DIY versus Imperium and by Imperium I say Giovanni and Ludwig Kaiser because Gunther is on a whole different level so yeah after that we had it's not even a championship match it's just a women's tag team match Chelsea Green, Piper Niven versus Natalia and it was supposed to be Tegan Knox but I told you she's injured I told you she's injured call it Natalia's mystery partner was you guessed it. No, you didn't. Nikki Cross. Nikki Cross just came out to the ring. She was looking like this the whole time. And basically five minutes after the match started, she just left the ring. And after that, Piper Niven and Chelsea won. And so does that mean that Natalia is gonna get the championship 
opportunity? <laughs> I don't know, probably not. Next up, we had a banger, man. Real banger. Drew McIntyre versus Sami Zayn. I really enjoyed that match. I was so pumped about ma that match. That match was getting this is awesome chance all along. Amazing match. I cannot explain to you. If there is a one match that you should watch from tonight's Raw, is definitely Drew McIntyre versus Sami Zayn. No interference, no boo. No, I'm just kidding. There was interference by Rhea Ripley, but that was in the end, and this is the reason actually that Drew McIntyre won. But let's let's skip that. The match itself was awesome. 10 out of 10. We're not doing this here. Sorry. After that, before the main event, Bronson Reed versus Akira Tozawa. It's weird because I was expecting a really fast squash match, but somehow Akira Tozawa is climbing the ladder. It's really weird to say this because at the end Bronson Reed won uh, with his basic move set like Tsunami and uh, he won, of course, but it's not squash match. Uh, I feel like Akira Tozawa was getting squashed way more back in the day and right now is a little bit better, you know? I just realized that there is a mos mosquito. This is bad, I need to finish the video fast so I can turn off the light. So, we're going into the main event. Jey Uso versus Damian Priest and, of course, Jey Uso lost because uh, Finn Balor interfered and after the match ended, they tried to jump Jay and uh, beat him up. But Cody Rhodes came out, out of the medical facility with the broken foot and he saved Jay. And basically, that's how the show ended with Judgment Day always on top, with Mami always on top, with Cody always on top, and with the It's just me, Ooze. <gasps> Day what? Is, yeah. If I was rating Raw, I would have rated 7 out of 10. Why not 8? Why not 9? Why not 10? Because it's my show. Because it's my show and I can do whatever the flip I want. 7 out of 10. You know, 7.1 out of 10. Sounds good. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna see you bang tomorrow for NXT. Peace.